Next up on Boring Gear Reviews, we have the Haunted Labs Shadow Winds. <laughs> Huge thanks to Haunted Labs and Full Effect Distro for sending me the Shadow Winds. All right, so Haunted Labs is a pedal effects company based out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and they make some really rad pedals. Today, we have one of those rad pedals, the Shadow Winds. So what we get here is a very unique delay. This is capable of some gorgeous digital delay, as well as some pitch sequencing and tremolo and even vibrato. To do all that, we have a very simple but very deep control set. In the center, we have this three-way toggle switch, which will allow you to choose one of three modes. So in position one, once we go past noon, you're going to get like an alternating third up and down. In the two position past noon, we're getting an alternating third down plus tremolo. And then in the three position, we're getting alternating tritones up and down with vibrato. We have replicate, which is like your feedback of the delay. Then we have time, which will control the length between the repeats. Invoke is like your mix knob, but past noon, it engages a secondary function per each of the three parameters. For today's demo, I'm using my 2023 Mule Resophonic Mule Caster. And from there, we'll be going into my Universal Audio Apollo X6 interface and into the SoftTube JMP2203 amp plugin. <laughs> Okay, in this first clip, we're going to be using just the shadow winds. So we're going to have replicate around two o'clock. We're going to have time around one o'clock and we're going to have invoke just below noon. So we're not engaging the secondary feature there. And we are going to have the toggle in the one position. So what we get here is just a really beautiful digital delay. The rhythmic quality to the shadow winds makes it really engaging and exciting to play. It feels very musical in that way where some delays, and there's nothing wrong with this. Some delays are very kind of straightforward. They're just hitting a note after you hit a note. Great. Here, it really does feel a little more interactive. There's just a bit more going on, which makes for a lot of very fun and creative moments. In the last part of the clip, I'm going to max the replicate knob. So the repeats are going to carry on. Uh, this does not self oscillate. So you'll get just a really cool bed to play over. And then I'll do just that. And it makes for just a really awesome time. So enjoy.
so in this clip, we're going to start with the dead air wound. If you'd like to see a full demo of the wound, click the link right here. From there, we'll be going into the shadow winds. And here we're going to get a little more wild with it. So we're going to have replicate around 10 and both invoke and time completely maxed. We're going to be in the second position as well. So in addition to the alternating thirds going down, we're going to have some tremolo there too. At the end of the chain, we're putting the blue colander small fracture. If you'd like to see a full demo of the small fracture, click the link right here. So this is one of the things that makes the shadow wind so unique. What we get here is this kind of cacophony of notes and sounds and delay runs. It's like a really complex sound that you're hearing, but it almost sounds like a, like a, I don't know, like an evil quartet or something like there's a ton going on, but it, like I said, it stays very, very musical. In the beginning, when I'm playing a little more clean, it feels a little more accessible, a little more friendly. And then as I engage the drive pedals, it just gets more intense, more wild, kind of more chaotic and, and, and broken sounding. It's just so, so fun to play. last clip we're going to keep the dead air wound first in the chain and then we're going to have the shadow winds here we're going to have replicate at noon we're going to have invoke around two o'clock to begin with and then time at like uh, 10 o'clock 
We're also going to have the mode switch in the three position. So we're going to get like alternating up and down tritones with vibrato. In the second half of the clip, we're going to go from the invoke knob at around two. We're going to roll it back just before noon. So here we'll get the up and down pitch stuff. And then when I roll it back, it just becomes like a really beautiful sounding delay. And this is like a cool example of something you can do with this pedal where you can have, for example, like an intro where it's completely different here. It's almost like a like a 60s horror sci fi soundtrack. And then when I roll it back, it just becomes like a little more. I have it kind of like almost in a slapback setting, a little longer tails. And then it's like a kind of like a cool spaghetti Western. It's just like instant change in tone with one knob. So, so fun, really engaging to play. And like I said, this, this delay is extremely musical. So enjoy.
And that is a wrap on the Haunted Labs Shadow Winds. I did not expect so much to come from this pedal. Yes, it's a delay. Yes, it's gorgeous, you know, beautiful digital delay stuff going on. But the relationship between the invoke knob and then this three-way toggle switch is really, really fun and exciting. I also found it challenging me to play different stuff than I would normally play when I'm in those like past noon settings on the invoke knob. It it makes you approach things different, think about them different, feel differently. And like I've said on this channel a lot of times, I love that in a pedal. When a pedal can change my perception of something I thought I already knew, like delay, and then also challenge me to create different music. I, I love that so much. Feels super solid, built really well, is light, it's small form factor, awesome artwork. It's now my son's favorite looking pedal. This is one of those delays that I'm really looking forward to using a lot. And that'll do it. As always, links for everything I'm using in the description below. If you dig the content, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. It helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And if you really, really dig the content, please consider becoming a member. We do uh, live streams and I'm going to be doing some eventually some members only giveaway and there are exclusive videos just for members as well. So get on that if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Peace.